We took down Gonzap here at the Snagum Hideout with Voltaire, who zapped that Skarmory of his down in one hit. I guess he's both gone and zapped now. Haha, <laughs> I kill myself. I can never get enough of this place. Just that view, just how this area looks, how the music is, the overall atmosphere of it. Uh, nothing could break that. Well, except maybe this lunk. Quit scurrying around, you're getting on my nerves. Don't think you're hot stuff just because you beat me once by fluke. And what's, a, and what's with the show and I have a weird machine in your arm? You're begging for a thumping and I'll deliver it this time. I'll bash, thrash, and crash you just like you want. We are battling Zook yet again. Third time we have seen this clown. I can't really think of anything else to say about him. I do like how he used the sailor bottle even though he doesn't have the tattoos on his arm. I think Zook would be full of tattoos just all over him though. Anyway. As for his team, there is a laughable amount of information about a lot of minor bosses' teams and Ore on the internet. I could not find complete data for this guy's movesets or anything like that, but he has a shadow Pokemon. We have seen the Zangoose twice already, and this is the first time that we have our Snag Machine and have encountered it at the same time. And that's really all I can say about that. Okay. Oh no, not Rock Tomb. Please not in Voltaire. Please not in Voltaire. Please no. Okay, I might actually be slower than something. Who would have thought? Voltaire actually being slower than something we came across. <laughs> uh, going for the timer ball, because it's white with red streaks on it. Can't think of a better ball to house Zangoose in. One, two, three, mine. Haha, <laughs> take that, Zook. Rawr, what'll I do? What'll I do? Gorgon's gonna chew me out again. He only had 620 Pokemon dollars on him, that's kind of funny. Ugh, Punk thumped me and Gorgon will be furious with me again. I should go away. Somewhere far away where Cypher won't have any influence. So long, Punk. I've had enough of battling you to last a lifetime. Walks off all slowly. Even though he is scared of Gorgon chewing him out or being threatened with violence, he just walks off. Booted water below, the glass pyramid above. Ah, oh, it's all so cool. But these guys look really, really awkward in the middle of all of it. Seriously? Hey, 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 this is no place for a kid like you. No, no, we can't, le can't let you in. No, you run along now. I don't have big muscles of my own. Whatever will I do? You guys have, like, the greatest muscles ever. Well, second greatest muscles I've ever seen, but what'll I ever do? Remember when I said you guys had the second greatest muscles I've ever seen? Well, these are the first! Step aside! That kid's special. He's not anyone you, you lot can beat. If you want to know what's best, let him through without a fuss. What? Don't make me laugh. Hey, kid. You let us handle things here. It wouldn't pay to make a racket. All it'd do is alert the guys inside the building. Hey, walk it. Yo. Hey, you guys are from Team Snagum. What do you think you're doing here? Gloom, hit him a sleep powder. That just solves every problem in the whole dang world. Walken, like I said, I am a fan of your ideas. Good going, Walken. <laughs> Glad to be of service. Now's our chance. Hurry, we can wreck Cypher right now. Fortunately, they don't go in with us, but yes, we got help from the burliest muscles around. Well, how did Gonzev get that buff in five years? I mean, dude, his pecs are bigger than his head. I mean, one of his pecs is bigger than his head. I don't know, but still, that is crazy, if I may say so. What a nasty boy. It's so rude for you to come in and invite. I'll punish you in place of your mother. Don't you talk about my mother, you imbecile. Or should I say imbecile? Okay, that was better. I didn't use the aggravated pun that you guys were saying I should have used the other day. But still, I, I feel like that made up for it. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, mustache fell in love. <laughs> I'm sorry, that just sounds funny. Go, Plusle. Not... Here we are! We are back to Pokemon, just barely not one-hitting stuff. Happens when I am over-leveled and I catch something that's like five levels below the rest of the team, but oh well. Okay. Dust Tox is the greatest threat ever, and whoa, that Timer Ball's animation is weird. <laughs> it's like clocks moving forwards, all weird, like when you're calling the Pokemon back, I don't know. I, I, I do have to say I'm not really the... 
two damage. I'm not really the biggest fan of that animation. I just always thought it looked kind of weird, though. But still, I don't think I could have made a better choice than the timer fall. Well, so much for Dustox not being a threat, guys. <laughs> okay. Take you out. Man, I gotta say, I really have to praise this battle background here. Just, like, this area is so cool looking. Like... Why did they not have much stuff that was in this type of atmosphere again? I, I don't know, I have to ask that. I'm sorry. Just that it bugs me a little bit that we never really got to see another game with this type of atmosphere in the series. Pokemon that can learn it, so it is kind of a special thing bringing up. It sharply raises one's own special attack, so surprisingly very good move. Manaphy learns it in later generations, and that makes it really, really good though, but man, sharply raising your own special attack, I mean it's basically like a special swords dance. It's a great move. I just wish more stuff learned it, to be honest. Okay. Go! Dust... <sighs> Why can I not knock out anything in this fight? You guys are so much lower level. What is the thing that I'm not fully evolved now? Is that what it's gonna be? Uh... Okay. We will blow on that freaking... No, I'm not risking the blizzard. I just want that thing to go out down this turn. Oh, great. Two tail glows. If this gets off an attack, I am done for right here. Okay. At least it's not a, behind the confusion on Dust Talk, so at least that's good. Uh, critical hit. Woohoo. Yeah. Okay. See, it, it, they're not even doing that much damage to me. I mean, they were doing a lot to Zangus, though, but they're not even doing that much damage. It's just that they will not go down, and it's really frustrating. Okay. That is done. Here's our takedown. Hey. You got taken down. That's all I got, really. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all I got, really. <laughs> Alright, this battle's done. We are good and wow, she had a lot of money. Damn. I guess Cypher pays well. Question is, do they have better dental fit benefits than Team Snagum? That remains to be seen. <laughs> so, if you go over this way, there's quite a few things for you. Another item box. Two revives! Again, I don't mean to complain, but jeez, I thought you were supposed to be the bad guys. I don't know. They are very, very strange with that. Oh, yet another battle. That ruckus upstairs. You're the cause. You bet I'm the cause. What of it? Huh? Huh? Kahlo? Yeah, well, this ain't Kahlo Seum anymore. This is XD. But I, I sound so non-threatening when I try talking like that. It, just, it sounds so wrong when I try talking like that. It's... Kind of funny, actually, just how bad I am at it. Okay. Um, <laughs> come back, Zangus. Throw a Voltaire out. Okay, good. Keep quiet on the shop floor, please. Who are you to give generic intercom responses to things? Once again, no Shadow Pokemon, just like last fight, and Voltorb in the Purify Chamber. Okay. What do you have to say? Oh, I am downright bone-weary. We're under orders to take a full shipload of Pokemon and turn them into Shadow Pokemon. We'll be done with this job soon. Then, I'm gonna take a good long bath to unwind. Oh, poor you. Your muscles are sore from enslaving Pokemon. Yeah, we need to stop this. And Mirror B may have appeared. That's what's important here. We get TM24 from going down here. What does that get us? Thunderbolts! I... Uh, I gotta think about this if I want to teach this or not. Jolteon does not learn Thunderbolt leveling up in Generation 3, so I think it should be used in... Ooh, Jean's got an item. Okay. So, goodbye to Shockwave. I am now a powerhouse, quite literally. <laughs> there we go. Learn Thunderbolt. Now, Jean, what no doubt priceless item do you have for us today? Great Ball! Okay, uh, 600 Poké Dollars is hardly priceless, but dang, I'll take it. All right. So we have entered the Cypher Key Lair, we took down Zook, we used the power of Gonzap's awesome muscles to force our way in, even though he didn't use them. Got some nice items, and I think we're going to end this off.